A long-awaited planning rule change has finally happened if you're getting a heat pump installed at the moment. Now, if you're thinking you get a heat pump, you can go to evnick.com forward slash heat pump. When you fill in your name and email address, it will link you to my Octopus referral code, which means when you get the Octopus heat pump installed, we will split a £200 Visa gift card. Now, sadly, if you're in Wales, this planning rule regulation does not mean any changes for you at the moment. It's really poor for Wales, but great news for anyone in England. It means that the location of where your heat pump going can change. The sound level calculations have changed a little bit, which we can get into. But more importantly, am I going to change the current location of my Cozy 6 heat pump? Find out in this video. So very firstly, what's the big change? The big change is there is no longer a permitted development distance that you have to require to to fit a heat pump. So previously, it had to be at least one meter away from your boundary, and that is a no more longer rule. So it can be as close to your boundary as possible, the boundary wall as possible as you want, and there is no need to get planning like you did previously. It's now counted under what we call permitted development, which means it's an allowed development without any planning submission which is extra cost and also that fear that they could actually reject it now before the nut is starting the comments saying well that means everyone's going to hear your heat pump because it could be closer towards my house uh, yes in theory you could be right but let's first of all let's just point out that heat pumps make very rarely hardly any noise they are very 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 low in noise but they have luckily for you changed the noise calculations levels they've actually lowered it from its previous uh, uh, figure that it was so it was before i think it was 44 decibels and it's just dropped to 38 decibels don't quote me on these numbers i'll put them down in the description just to make sure i'm fully correct uh, but they have changed the way it's calculated so the way it's calculated is slightly different from previous which means that it, it, it can actually be slightly beneficial to some less beneficial to others but effectively they don't want your neighbours to be disrupted or hear any noise, so they have changed the way the noise system is calculated to a lower level, but changed the calculations so they are fairer and work out noise disturbance a lot better than they did previously. Now, it's also worth noting that they have increased the permitted development size that a heat pump can be from its previous system. So previously, you were only allowed a, a relatively smallish heat pump under permitted development, they've now increased that to be a much larger size heat pump. And the good news is, if you don't like noise, the larger the heat pump, the quieter the noise. And that's due to it having a larger fan and evaporator, which means it doesn't have to suck in as much physical air from running the fan faster because it's just got such a large surface area, which means that the fan is a lot quieter and the heat pump runs quieter the larger it is. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but that's just the way it works. Now, even though England has dropped the one meter boundary rule, Wales is three meters. So not only was it already worse than what England's previous one meter was, it's now free, it's still three meters and has no change from the England permitted development dropping to basically no boundary rules. Now, hopefully we'll see Wales follow suit. Now the Wales could use the evidence from our previous one meter rule to see that that wasn't an issue. All the huge consultation that the government had over here about scrapping the meter rule altogether. Now, with sound rules being fairly strict, even in England and Wales, I don't think Wales should have a problem dropping the boundary rule altogether. And if we really want to move towards renewables or people switching towards heat pumps, terraced houses and homes that are very close together aren't going to get there with a three metre distance needed between the boundary rules. So let's hope that Wales follows suit. If you're affected by this in Wales, please let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Now, another huge change that came in is that air to air systems are now counted as permitted development. So that means air conditioning systems fall under the same rules as this. And you can also now have two heat pumps under permitted development. So if you have one air conditioning system and one non-air conditioning system, that is now permitted development where before if you had an extra heat pump when you already had aircon or you already had a heat pump you wanted to fit aircon you would have needed planning you can have two units and air to air is now counted as permitted development now this brings in a whole host of great things now first of all could i now get air conditioning installed in my house because in summer it can be a bit torturous in this house and also if you are at the moment have no central heating and you're running on electric only heating like the house i visited where i got did the tesla uh, battery install my friend good friend will 
doesn't have any central heating. He runs purely on underfloor electric heating and his electricity bill is through the roof. So could they introduce a grant for people like him that won't get air to water systems and but can only get an air to air for heating? Could we see the government grant be extended to that? Now, possibly, I don't think it will be the full seven and a half grand that is for the bus grant, but maybe a reduced grant, maybe of two to three grand or a percentage of the total bill that's being installed. That would be quite a fair system and maybe capped at a higher level definitely a huge opening for people wanting to get air to air systems under permitted development. Now if you remember when I got my heat pump installed the location I picked was mainly to fit within sound and boundary rules. I wanted it different location really a bit closer towards the house but because of the boundary rules I was limited so do I now pay to reposition, remove this heat pump? Would I see a benefit in COP? No. Would I really care if it moves to that new location? No. Am I happy with the current location? Does it use a usable space that wasn't being used? Yes. So I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to move it, but it does beg the question, do I get an air conditioning system installed now to improve the sort of house in the summer? Because the house in the summer can get a little bit hot and it would be nice to have an air conditioning system. And I could use the air conditioning system also for some heating in the, in the winter months. And what would the cop be like on the air conditioning system versus that and both of them running together? I'd be interested to know what people think in the comments. Do you think I should get an air conditioning system? Now, if you're thinking of getting a heat pump installed, remember you can go to evnick.com forward slash energy, where there's a whole host of energy tariffs and information about getting my Octopus referral link for getting a heat pump where for that, you get to split 200 Visa card with me, or if you're signing up to being an Octopus Energy customer, you can split £100 with me. Both those codes and information there, including a full review on the Cozy 6 heat pump. Now, it's coming up to my one-year anniversary of having my heat pump. If you want to know how much that's cost me to run, make sure you click subscribe and that notification bell, because that video will be dropping very soon. It's a year since I had it installed in September. If you want to see that installed, that's right here. And if you want to see my journey of heat pumps, how I got it installed, the location, all the stuff that used to go on, see this playlist right here.